Well, hello there, each and every one of you. This is Tony Henderson Mayers, television, radio, relationship expert, author, and entrepreneur known as Wise Courtship all over social media because of my book with a three-step system that will help you determine the true character and the true intent of your love interest. And this is Check In and Chat. And I'm so glad that each and every one of you are here with me. Um, make sure that you are visiting my website, which is uh, www.wisecourtship.com for more information and what we are doing here. And of course, our digital products are on sale at bit.ly forward slash shop Tony. Make sure you write it exactly the way you see it in your browser because it is case sensitive. And of course, we are in a creating streams of income a series. And this is part one to get you started at bit.ly forward slash create streams part one. I see people are coming in. So make sure that you greet me. I'm so excited about um, being part of this show. And if you want to listen to us uh, via podcast, you can go to www.anchor.fm forward slash Tony dash Henderson dash mayors. Or you can hear us on Breaker if you listen uh, that way. Google Podcast, Overcast, uh, Pocket Cast, uh, Radio Public, and of course, Spotify. You can um, hear us in those venues. So make sure you join us in that way. So good to see you, Judy. Good to see you. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Guys, make sure that you are sharing this broadcast, okay? That, you know, the more the merrier. That's what makes it fun, okay? And I'm so excited about our guests coming up today. But make sure that you're sharing the broadcast by touching right down there. Mm -hmm. If you are on Facebook, and I believe Judy is, yes, right, Judy's following us via Facebook. So there's a share button all the way down. Yeah, right down there. Click the share button and you can share it onto your timeline. You can invite people in or you can start a watch party, which would be a lot of fun. OK, and you can make your own comments or you can switch into our um, live feed and make comments on the live feed as well. Or you can watch us via Periscope. We are broadcasting right now on Periscope. And my handle on Periscope is at Wise Courtship. And if you're watching us via Periscope, then you're going to share with all your followers. You're going to tweet it out. And of course, you're going to put it on Facebook if you are able. So welcome each and every one of you. So after all this is over, I'm going to put this on. Y'all know I got to do all my commercials here. After this is all over, I'm going to put this on. Um, my YouTube channel, which is bit.ly forward slash Tony Tube. Both T's are capitalized. So if you are listening to this via podcast and you want to see it and you missed the live, go to my YouTube channel, bit.ly forward slash Tony Tube. Both T's are capitalized. And if you want to hear it as you go about your day, your work, your rides, uh, your cleaning, then make sure you are joining us on Anchor or, or any of the other podcasts that we said are available. So we're now still waiting for our guests to come on. And I just want to thank everyone for tuning in. And so let me um, put our little topic up here today. And um, let me just check to, to see if she, uh, if she contacted me to see if she, you know, having trouble logging in or anything like that. Um, and I just, I'm so glad that you guys are with me. We're having a lot of fun with these checking and chats, right? So if you want to be a guest, okay, so we're still waiting for her. Um, 
let me just send her a note there. If you would like to be a guest on the show, um, then you just email me, okay? At info at, um, I'm not going to put it on as a ticker, let's see. Well, I guess I have no choice. Go ahead and email me at info at wisecourtship.com. Info at wisecourtship.com. And all right. Well, let me tell you a little bit about our guest. Um, her name is um, Andrea or Andrea Thompson. She is a media and marketing strategist and a speaker. And I'm really, really excited to have her on because she's going to talk to us um, from a very um, interesting topic. And that is how to cope in a crisis. Um, as a single parent, okay? How to cope in a crisis as a single parent. Now, you let me know in the chat box if you are a single parent or were a single parent and give me your comments and thoughts about um, how to uh, cope in a crisis. And while we're waiting for her to come on, I forgot, I always forget, guys, to share this broadcast myself um, before I go live. <laughs> I'm going to share it right now. I'm going to share it right now while we're live, but it's it's a lot easier for me when I do it before we actually go live. So let me find me on Facebook and I'm going to share this, okay, into um, the different groups there. So let's see. We definitely got to make sure it goes into the Wise Courtship family and we got to make sure we go into the Wise Courtship singles group because we're going to talk about some things that are relevant to them as well. So, okay, since she's not on yet, I'm just going to move forward um, with the topic, um, because as we know, um, during this crisis, it can be very challenging for some people. It can be very challenging, and um, I'm still sharing, y'all, just in case you want to know. I'm still sharing. I just want to see if there's any other groups that I really need to um, post this in with. Okay, I think I'm good. I'm just gonna do a couple of groups today. So I think I'm good. So I'm gonna rely heavily on you guys to share. I'm gonna rely heavily on you guys to share for me. So um, it, it can be very challenging for singles um, as they're coping with a crisis. Um, as I had said in my description, you know, if it's two people facing, hey, Mr. Card Logic, good to see you. When there's two people facing a crisis, um, that's one thing. But when you have um, just one person who has to kind of look out for the family, um, we're still waiting for our guest, Andrea um, Andrea um, Thompson, to come on. But she's going to take it from a perspective of a single mom. But, of course, we're spreading this knowledge all around because we have some single dads who are um, facing this crisis and have to provide for the family as well as look out for the family as well as um, um, try to um, deal with the security and safety of the family. And I definitely want to hear your thoughts in the chat box too as well as we get this conversation started and hopefully we'll hear from our guests um, today as we move on. And speaking of that, as you guys are writing your comments or questions or whatever you want to say, because this is checking the chat and make sure you share, please share, 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 share. So um, as we're doing that, um, I want to let you know, I'm so excited about next week. You are going to want to tell people now about this checking and chat, because we're going to talk about publishing, publishing your book like a boss, how to publish your book like a boss. And so you definitely want to tune in for that. I'm so excited. We're going to have Tiffany Green with us on next week. So um, has anybody here ever had to um, raise their children alone? Um, know some people who raise their children alone um, who are facing this crisis? Because everyday things that we, we think about, you know, that we do, uh, going grocery shopping or uh, mowing the lawn or um, um, cleaning the house, even now educating the children. How does a single mom, how does a single parent handle that uh, if they themselves have to work, but yet the children have to be educated? How do they handle that? And I definitely want to hear your comments and your feedback on that as well. That is has to be extremely difficult 
And then also um, some single parents are home without you know any income or they're praying and hoping that their employer continues to pay them um, while they stay home and they're educating their children. Um, it can be very, very difficult. Um, I definitely know what it was like to homeschool and work, you know, from home. Um, also have online businesses and it was difficult um, doing that, but I can only imagine um, someone doing that and they don't have assistance or help, um, or someone to, to, you know, keep the children quiet or whatever. I had a little taste of that when my husband worked on the railroad, uh, which meant that he was away um, for four days and home for three days. And so almost like a military mom, you know, a wife, I kind of got an idea of what it was like and uh, it's not fun, <laughs> but you do what you have to do you know, and you rally yourself. And so I'm hoping to um, shed some light on that. And uh, once again, I'm hoping that um, Andrea Thompson will be able to, to make it on. But if not, um, I will suggest and say that um, of some of the single moms that I have worked with and also from having those little glitches of knowing what it's like, is that you have to have a great support support system. And I believe that most people who are single parents, um, they are really great at that, you know, establishing a support system. Because if you do not, you're really going to sink. You're going to sink. You're going to be stressed out, um, have problems and different things like that. And what I mean by support system, somebody who's going to help you with the kids, somebody who's going to help you with transportation if something happens with your transportation, um, somebody who's going to uh, uh, be a fill-in babysitter for when you have to go away or you have to take classes or when you something happens when you're sick, a system to, um, to take over when you are sick, um, a system for... Um, what to do if you cannot make any income for whatever reason. So there are so many scenarios that um, single people have to kind of think about and have to um, work out because um, something may happen to them and they have to, um, you know, they have to figure it out. They have to figure it out. Um, the other thing is, is that the support system, not only a support system for physically being there to handle certain chores and tasks when needed, um, you also need an emotional um, support system because um, it can be taxing, it can be stressful, um, it can be all consuming. Uh, even so many single parents make it look easy. So much so that, you know, we don't really think about it. You know, I know at my church, uh, they do special things for single parents, um, two big things that they really do each year. And then, of course, they have support systems and, and programs and ministries and things like that for, for um, single parents. But um, the things that we, we go through each and every day sometimes can be a big barrier or an obstacle or something to work through. Um, when when um when you're a single parent, we don't think about it. We just don't think about it. And um it's something it's something that we should you said to this day, <laughs> to this day, yeah, let me put that up there. I'm telling you, this is something. To this day, I don't know how they do it. I don't, I don't either. I told you I have my little when my husband worked on the railroad, you know, for several years where he would work four days away on the road and three days home. And I had um, Sean, he was really small um, at that time. And I think for a little piece of it, I had Christian. And so they were little teeny teenies. And uh, I don't know how you can do it. <laughs> With God, all things are possible, but you really have to kind of think ahead. And um, if you're not a great planner, you will become one unless you're just gonna sit home and not do much, okay? Um, but for those who are doing things and people are going to school and they're working their jobs and building their careers, you have to be a great planner. So now let's think about this in the midst of a crisis. You know, for my moments of inspiration, encouragement, and prayer, um, uh, Facebook Live, I do that Facebook Live, but it's also part of a podcast that I have called Wise Courtship Devotional. 
we've been doing a series, Faith in a Crisis, Thankful in a Crisis, Peace in a Crisis, we've done, and, and more. There's other topics. Um, but wow, to try to cope in a crisis as a single person is unbelievable, right? <laughs> it's unbelievable because, you know, right, I, I must say that it's, this situation does not have me rattled. It really doesn't. And thanks be to God, because I know that's only by his spirit and his kindness and being focused on him. But um, there are some things about it that can be very scary. And when you have uh, small ones, um, it can be very concerning because you're not just thinking about yourself. You're thinking about them. Now, I have two sons, but they're older and uh, they don't have any problem sheltering in place. OK. <laughs> and they can entertain themselves at this moment. Um, but I must say when they were small, they knew how to entertain themselves because I trained them that way where they could do things and we would do things with them too as well. But, but sometimes when they're really small, they may want to continue playing. They may want to, um, you know, they may not understand, um, if you're in an apartment, maybe that you're not going outside as much. Okay. Um, when they, when I was raising them, they always had plenty of places to run and play. So these are some of the things that, um, are very concerning. So if you're a single parent or you um, want some um, information further about that, or you, you just want to discuss some things that have you kind of rattled, or you just just like uh, Mr. Card Logic, who's watching us via Periscope, as he uttered here, that to this day, I don't know how they do it. Even if you want to make that comment, you can do that. And we'll definitely uh, entertain that. So, um, Check in and chat comes on every Thursday at six o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so I'm really, really excited about uh, our time that we have together because it just gives us a chance to um, it gives us a chance to kind of not focus so much on what's going on because there's a lot going on in the news. And if you're watching this via YouTube or you're watching this or listening to this rather uh, via our podcast, um, in the future, <laughs> we are going through a pandemic, the coronavirus pandemic. Um, it has shut many of us in and sheltered many of us in place. And so we thought we would have a check in and chat to, you know, just kind of, you know, blow off some steam and talk about things and, and all of that. And so we've been having guests come on. And Andrea Thomas Thompson is um, our guest. Uh, to talk to us about how to cope in a crisis. Now she is in Chicago. So I'm wondering, isn't that central standard time? Somebody help me out. I believe it is. So I think she might've been on central standard time. So at seven o'clock when we are way over, <laughs> she may be wanting to come on and talk about it, but we, we would have uh, finished the check in the chat at that moment. So uh, any other way, I just want the, the parents to know that we are thinking about you. We are praying for you. We know that it's not easy. Um, and just because we are sheltered in place does not mean that you cannot do video calls. And if you have that capability, now, if you do not have that capability, we'll talk about that in a moment. But for those who have the capability to utilize video calls and to, um, you know, utilize um, live streaming and all of that, that can be a godsend during this time. Um, I just helped my mother set up Skype because she wasn't able to put a duo or she's able to Zoom. And so I had to go old school and show her how to get on Skype. <laughs> and um, for some people, they're like, that's old school. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's old school. <laughs> but anyway, I helped her set up on Skype and it's a godsend because she lives alone and um, she's now able to you know, see somebody and talk to them. Of course, she has her phone and um, other things that she can do. And she's an avid reader like I am. And so you can do that. But of course, if you do not have video uh, calls, then you can call people. You can talk to them um, on the phone. And also, um, many people are going crazy over Zoom. Um, but uh, I know Mr. Carlisle is probably listening and driving or whatever, but, and Judy as well. Um, but we have been using that Zoom like forever, right? <laughs> Zoom is old to us. It's old. 
let's see what Mr. Carlogic said to me. He said, laugh out loud. I have the same woes with my parents, 24-7 tech support. <laughs> yes, I'm giving tech support, and I didn't even realize that I'm a tech person. Okay. <laughs> I like tech, though. Don't get me wrong. And I probably should have went into that field as much as I like it. But I do like um, dealing with people a lot. You know, I deal with people. Not just people in tech support don't, because they do. But you know what I mean. More of service industries and stuff. I think my talking is greater than my tech, okay? <laughs> but I do like tech. And so, yes, I've been given 24-hour uh, support. So we had to go way back to Skype. But now she's able to see people and call and talk as well as use her phone. And so also single people, if you're not utilizing Zoom, some people who are older and some people who have not really utilized uh, social media as much as uh, some of us have, um, you're just now discovering Zoom, and Zoom is great, but I was trying to explain to my mom that um, Zoom is great for when you're doing meetings and teaching and different things like that, but if you want to just call somebody and see them via video, you need uh, Duo or Skype or WeChat or uh, something on that order where you can just call, and I was trying to do Duo with her, but that's a Chrome product, and she didn't have that, so... We had to do Skype. We had to go old school <laughs> and do Skype. So, um, you know, as a single parent, you're going to want to, or single, you're going to want to have something like that going because it can help you get around a little bit better, you know, uh, deal with being sheltered in place a little longer. Um, and also, what he said, my Mr. Card Logic says, my 11 year old does Zoom with her friend, sign of the times. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Zoom is a great apparatus. If you want to have little uh, get together parties and or group chats and see everybody in the box, that's great. You know, Zoom is great because you can schedule out when you want to meet with people. And if even if you want to do it immediately, it's still some form of scheduling, you know. But if you want to call, on the fly, then you have to get some sort of a, a video conference type thing. But I do suggest that if you can't do anything else, definitely use Zoom, you know, use that. And um, because most people can get it on their laptops or their Macs or whatever, and it's great. Oh, Miss um, um, Andrea Thompson is here. So we're going to continue um, our conversation for the next 15 minutes or so with her. And I'm going to introduce her uh, now. Um, she is a media and marketing strategist, and I am so, and a speaker, and a speaker, and I'm so excited to have her on. So I'm going to put her on without further ado. Boom! How are you? Okay, I think you still, you are still on mute. So make sure you, um, do I got you on mute? I got you on mute. Lord have mercy. There you go. Okay, say say hello to us. I still think she got you have yourself on mute probably. So you want to um make sure your mic is on because I got you off of mute there. So while she's working on that, I'm really, really excited to um to hear what she has to say because I'm I know she's gonna bring some great value in. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna look into the comment sections here. Let's see. Yeah, your mic is, say something else. Okay, so I think what may be it is, maybe it's turned down. Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't make you uh, test your mic when you came in. Let me see, Mr. Cardlock said, and on this topic, I haven't even uh, thought about single parents who are also essential. Yes, they absolutely are. They absolutely are. And um, they I believe single people do things so flawlessly that um, we don't think about it. Uh oh, she went off a C. Or she's um, redoing herself there, adding herself to the stream. Let's see. Okay. I don't see her there, but okay, there she is. Let's see. Hello? No, we don't hear you yet. <laughs> So what you may want to do is you may want to go all the way off and then come back in on the link. And there's a part where you can test your mic. Or maybe you might want to use earphones, uh, too. Uh, but there you, there you go. There you go. Okay. 
Okay. Welcome. Technology sometimes it acts right and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> let's but see, thanks Mr. for having me. It's been such a long time. It really has. Um, as in a quarantine, they have to work. Some don't have the support. Absolutely, absolutely. So this is Andrea, um, Andrea Thompson, and we're so excited to have you here. I mean, you always bring such great value. Um, whenever, um, whenever I hear you speaking, you'll just get, bring great value. So we want you to first of all tell us about yourself, and then just shed some light on, um, you know, singlehood, especially in in a crisis. Mm. Um, I, I think I've, I've tried to kind of talk about business only on my platforms and not talk about relationships as much because relationships are so complicated for yeah. a lot of people and for me. Um, but I think being in this situation, being forced into this situation, I think you, you have to evaluate even more so the impact on your children, um, the impact on yourself, having yeah. to do the majority of the work in terms of um helping them and assisting them, whether it's with schoolwork or dealing with their feelings about being away from school, away from their friends. I mean, it's a lot of different and being away from the other parent as well. They're dealing with issues yeah. around that. Um, and so I'm challenged to think that this is a purposeful time um, that mm -hmm. I can be I can have more time to, to really get my relationship, not only with my son, but with God intact. But yeah. I'm also feeling that I'm being stretched as an entrepreneur, um, as a mother, as a woman, because it's requiring a lot of me. Like the, the process of, I think, going through a shift while a storm is happening, because I think we were a lot of us were already in a shift prior to the storm. And just when the shift was looking like we was going to come on the other side of it. That's when, you know, the storm happened. But yeah, um, I yeah. think a lot of us are trying to be optimistic, which is difficult. But um, I think we're, we're doing as best we can. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many things that you said that was really good in that. Um, I do think it's a time for people to reassess relationships and um, how they move about in the world in those relationships. Um, you know, educating your children and building a relationship with your children. Um and, you know, there was one thing that you mentioned that I had not even thought about. Good to see you. God loves real watching us be a periscope. Good to see you. God bless you. Um, one thing I had not thought about was the relationship with the other parent, being that we're sheltered in place, how difficult it is for them to see the other parent. Yeah, she is Miss Businesswoman. <laughs> and so um, my question is, how are you, how, I mean, I just didn't even think about this. How is uh, your son dealing with the fact that, that he may not be able to see his dad, I guess, maybe, um, while all this is going on? Um, I think he already had some feelings that, um, I think he already had some feelings before the crisis. And the yeah. crisis may have just made things incredibly worse for him. Yeah. Um, He's very mindful of my feelings. So I try not to show him that it irritates me as much as it does. Um, mm -hmm. but he'll say often, like, I don't want to make you sad, mom, but I, I don't yeah. I feel this way. Um, yeah. I have to pull it out of him. Um, yeah. but I, have to, I have to tell him often that I can't be held accountable for another person's actions. So his dad's choices are his dad's choices. And right. I can't force him to do anything because... I don't want to be in a position where I'm 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 the bad guy because he won't do something because yeah. I try to separate the two for him. But my son is very young, um, so I think that he's unfortunately seeing a lot of things for himself. Um, and, and while I've wanted to shield him to a certain degree, I also have to be very honest with him. I can't yeah. um, I can't make up a reason for it because we're um, in proximity to where his dad lives and. I've, I think I've done a, a very, um, I've been very mindful of how much I address with regard to, to my son's father and, and his relationship or lack thereof with my son. But yeah. I think as I, as I further in, um, as I further develop as an entrepreneur, I really want to have um, structure and a village intact for my son to support his needs. 
Yeah. You know, and if that means he needs to be mentored by other, you know, successful professional black men, because my son had told me at one point that black men were mean and white men were nice. And, oh wow! Um, yeah, like he he's had some very um shocking uh, um standpoints on certain things that I know have been influenced because. Um, of one thing being a way or another. So I, I just need to cultivate the right environment for him. And I'm, I'm hopeful that um, he'll see that and that his dad will, you know, eventually do more of that as well. And that's, that's all I can do as a mom. Yeah. And, you know, we talked earlier um, about, and I think Mr. Card Logic might have made a, a statement too. And, and I was talking about some of the things that single parents can do. Um, of course, I'm not a single parent. I had a you know, I had a run of maybe almost being close to a military mom where uh, my husband worked for the railroad. He would be gone four days and home three days. And I said, mm, this is different. You know, this is a lot of work, you know, so I can only imagine, you know, a single parent on, you know, on it all day long. But um, one thing I learned is that you have to have great support systems and um, also um, great role models and different things around to kind of supplement um, things, uh, supplement, um, relationships and whatnot. And I kind of heard you say that in your remarks. Are there any other things that you could suggest that, um, single people do when they have, um, when they're raising their children that can, um, help them, especially in a crisis? Well, what I'm working on for myself, um, that I can speak to from a school perspective, um, and crisis in general, not just this type of crisis, but other transitional crisis. Um, you have to always be advocating for your child. You always have yeah. to document. You always have to, because I, I noticed in a lot of situations, like my son, unfortunately, doesn't go to private school yet. Um, and I had the, the advantage uh, of going to public schools and then getting a scholarship to private schools. Mm -hmm. So I, I know the differences between the two. And right. You know, sometimes I, I'm just wondering of the quality of education that he's getting. But I know that if I'm not there advocating for him and holding people accountable, then mm -hmm. he's not going to even get what he's due to get. He's going to get even less. Right. And so I have to um, make sure that I'm always mindful of that and documenting things accordingly so that um, I have a paper trail of advocacy. Um, wow. I've also I've also learned that it's really important that you have a consensus among the people who are in your village. And I think I've been mindful of doing that as a business leader, as a professional, as somebody who has grown um, in business over the last four years. I've, I've developed a good business community, but I haven't developed a good personal support community for my son and I, because mm -hmm. what I'm realizing now is that, you know, when you have your son, you know, watched by someone else, you can't tell them how to do things in their home. Right. It's subject to how they do things in their home. And if you agree with it, OK, if you don't, you don't. Right. And um, I, I didn't think it went that way for a while. I was like, oh, if we don't do this at my house, I can bring them here and I'll tell you and you won't do that. And so, you know, people let me know. No, you know, we mm -hmm. don't do how we do over here. Right. You do what you do over there. And I was like, oh, OK. So that means I really can't bring him over here. And that's right. Objective. Yeah. 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 You said so much good stuff in there. I don't even know where to start. I mean, it's, this is incredible. Um, you talked about. um having a great support. And we just talked about this before you came on about how if you're a single parent and you don't have a great support system in just about every category, whatever category you don't have that support system in, it's going to start to fall apart. You know, you just got to have it. And um, you talked about having a great support system in business and it's evident. Um, we see that when you're, when you're out and about, we can see um, your great uh, work ethic and the results of that. And I just think it's so awesome of you to say, hey, I got to really build this support system up um, for me and my son. Um, I don't think any relationship is greater other than the ones you have with your spouse or you have with your children. Um, of course, your parents, you know, that relational um, support, I think is extremely important. 
and um, it does make a big difference. Um, God Loves Rio says, yes, you need to get your son around the right black men that have a good influence, that have vision. And we know, and and, and, and Andrea definitely knows there, because she deals with so many positive black men. She knows that there are tons of them all around. And, um, and you know, another thing I think sometimes we do with our children, whether we're single parents or whether we're raising our children with, with a partner, is sometimes we assume that our children are experiencing the things that we, we are experiencing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I was in Atlanta one time um, with my husband and my son. <laughs> and my sons, well, they were really little. And they said, woo, these buildings are tall. And, <laughs> and we looked at each other. We're like, we seen buildings taller than this. You know, from <laughs> working in New York, right? <laughs> what do you mean? But then it just dawned on me that that was not their experience. Yeah. And so we always have to like look out, like you said, be the best advocate for our children. I just love that. Somebody put that in the chat box. That is just so amazing that we have to be our best advocates for our children. And um, whether you are married, whether you have a partner or whether you're raising your children alone. OK, everyone who's watching us, you still have to be your best advocate for your children. Yep. What are they learning? Whose houses are they going over? Is the person's house reflecting your values? Um, you know, are is your child being the ra raised the way you would like for them to be raised? Um, but I, I want to kind of before we move on from that because I want to make sure that I mention that you know nobody is connected to you obligated to help you with your child. So you yeah. know, I'm mindful to be thankful that people are helping me because even the father of the child is not obligated. So I'm mindful to um, thank people for their involvement. However, um, I think that with certain children, their environment shapes them so much and mm -hmm. slightly changes them that their environment has to be controlled. And so that means that it's not like where I could just drop off my child with a bag right. and he's gonna go play. I have to tell you what his structure is like. Exactly. Without structure, he's he's gonna he's willy nilly. Yep. Right. And mm. so I mean the thing that I'm struggling with now, and I think a lot of parents are trying to make that transition. And I'm I'm purposely trying to bring a lot of content that's around what I'm dealing with as an entrepreneur that's ha that's also a mom. Um yeah. because I think that's very important. And my, my son loves um, phones, phones and games, games. I, I, I don't like games. I don't like Nintendos, um, the <laughs> Xboxes, the 360. I don't like none of that stuff because I've seen people like literally be in front of the game for hours like it's right. a job and not do anything. So I just don't like the games. But now that he's expressed the interest, I've tried to get him in coding. Um, I have him do different things online, but I could tell that he's not fully engaged unless it's tactile where he can touch it and do something. Mm -hmm. So, you know, engaging our children with technology and being innovative and creative. I think that's what we all are trying to do um, to really help them through this time, because it's challenging. But we like we became teachers overnight in addition to being entrepreneurs. And it's like, you know, I've created a whole curriculum and I'm like, I don't think this is what I signed up for. <laughs> this is you, know, and you said so many things that's so interesting. And of course, you know, um, by the way, I don't know if anybody knows this, but she's my spiritual daughter as well. I already claimed her as my daughter. A long um, time ago. A long time ago. <laughs> and so... Um, what I find as, as you get older and you, you've been doing stuff for a while, you said something wonderful about being your child's best advocate. Mothers, definitely fathers as well, we are our first, our child's first teacher. So when before my children even went to school, they already knew how their alphabets, how to count, read some, you know, they were already new phonics because I taught the old school phonics where you're able to sound out any word, you'll be able to sound it out. So they, they already knew that. So when people look at the end and see my, my sons with full scholarships, you know, like, oh my goodness, it starts off when they are babies and you teach them. So even when um, they were in public school, and then when we moved to another state, I had to homeschool them. And then I put them in private school. And then I put them in public school for their latter years, the high school years. Every step of the way I was teaching. Mm. Every step of the way I was looking at what they were learning and either supplementing or 
assisting with the teaching or making sure that they're learning or what have you. And um, I believe that that's something that we have to do, especially since uh, now our education is not as optimal as we would like it to be. Um, yeah a lot of the systems. And so you're doing the right thing. It's just that with this whole crisis and it all coming together, it seems to be a lot. But as a woman who worked from home and online businesses, man, that's all I ever did was teach the kids, get off for a minute and then teach them and come back as soon as I get them a little quiet and then try to do something mm -hmm. from online or, uh, or from home. So it was something else you said that I, um, this is what you said. And wow, I don't know if anybody caught this. Let me know if you caught this, guys. Um, she said something about no one really has to take care of your children, something in essence, you know, have to really watch them or whatever. And I think that sometimes, too, not just a single parent thing, also it can be um, magnified in single parenthood because you really need the help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even with married couples and, and people sharing, um, you know, custody with their children or whatever, no one has to watch your children. That is initially your job, right? And um, I thought that was powerful what you said because I think sometimes some married couples, with, with some people are guilty of that, will dump them on grandma and everybody else. But that's our first responsibility is to make sure we take care of our children. Uh, we have some single dads who may be watching here. That's not just your woman, your mother, your child, your baby mama, ex-wife. That's not just her job, that's your job too as well. So um, I thought that was wonderful when you pointed that out. What, what other um, tips could you give single parents um, you talk about having the structure. What other kind of tips can you give single parents when they're trying to cope? Because it, we did stay in a crisis, but there's times to me that almost every day could be a crisis, especially when you don't have the structure. That's that's and that's why I was saying that a lot of us have been in crisis before the onset yeah. of this crisis. So yeah. it's a compounded crisis for us. Yeah, yeah. And um, I think. In that effect, we kind of really needed this reset time, and it's and it's devastating mm -hmm. that it had to be on these terms. These are awful terms for it to happen on, but God has really gotten our attention to say, "Hey, you have to sit still and and be with your thoughts and 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 listen to me and let me download th this information for you to really sit with with this and 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 listen to what your guidance is. What what's the next move for you?" Right. I, as I was listening to what you were saying, I thought about um, a lot of a lot of us are not entrepreneurs by default. You know, we were developing wow. entrepreneurship in us through the struggle of different life periods. Wow. And so, um, we're breaking generational curses now, you know, yeah. and we're really trying to elevate to the next level in our mindset. Like this wealth mindset stuff that we now know is. It's very new to a lot of us. And the breaking of what we now know to be poverty mindset, that's a different experience too. And so um, we're really trying to do it in a graceful way um, that allows us to still accept everybody for, for, for where they are, but still be strong enough to say that no longer works for me and where I am with what I know now. So yeah. because of that, yeah. if you choose to stay how you are and you don't change, I have to make a decision to change and not spend as much time with you. Ooh, that is so good. You know, girl, I can listen to you all day because you just be dropping nuggets like like it's a hailstorm. <laughs> it's beautiful. Girl. I'm living. I'm living this life. I'm, I'm talking about my life. That's, that's so why I'm writing awesome. this awesome. <laughs> so awesome. And I just love when people have those moments and they're like, hey, this is the way it has to roll in order for it to work. And uh, it's so true. I just wish we had more time. You're going to have to come back and you're going to and look, we're gonna, we can talk about your business, girl. That's what we, we talk in this check in and chat. I'm getting a feedback here. In this check in the chat, we talk about um, how to, any how to stuff. So we could definitely come back and talk about business because I'll talk about business all day long. Okay. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Before we let you go, I want you to let people know how to contact you. If you have something that you are doing, projects or anything that you want to share, please do that now. 
most certainly. So um, again, my name is Andrea Thompson. I'm a brand strategist, a marketing enthusiast. Um, I love to help mid-sized businesses to be able to grow and create um, customized digital marketing material. Um, right now, Pal Biz Media um, is not accepting um, new clients, but we are putting out consistent material, hosting virtual events, um, really positioning ourselves to support our current clientele. I'm, I'm one of my company's clients now, um, finally. And so um, a lot of a lot of the energy is being devoted to my book project. I'll be publishing my book next month. Um, Pre-sales will happen on my birthday next month. So I'm really excited about that. Um, definitely continue to follow me um, on social media at Andrea is the plug. That's A-N-D-R-E-A -E is the plug on IG. You can also find me on Facebook. Pal Biz Media Publicity Consulting um, is the business page. So just stay in tune and follow me. I'm going live all the time, posting relevant information that you can use um, for business owners who need resources during this time and even um, information for you to level up in terms of your social media. This is this, a lot of people been yeah. putting off digital marketing. A lot of people been putting off that live streaming thing. And, you know, me and you have been doing this live. We've been, look, we've been on these social media streets, as they say. Yes, exactly. Yes, From Periscope yes, Street to Facebook Street to IG Street. I'm still hey, yes. the street right. You and I are here with that. And um, I felt like the Lord was saying, because a lot of people had came on and he said, you should be teaching this. And so that's what I'm doing too. Social media, the book is going to be coming out very soon. And of course, the courses, y'all know I always do courses and different things like that. And so we'll have to collaborate on something too as well. Uh, on one of my um, products and projects will collaborate. So with that being said, Ms. Andrea, thank you so much for being our guest. And um, if I'm going to add anything at the end, make sure I heard her say that you got to have a great support system. And um, I believe, especially women, that we need to support one another. That's why I keep spiritual daughters. Listen, y'all call and hit me up at any time. And sometimes all you need is for somebody saying you're doing a great job. And Miss Andrea, you are doing a awesome job. You are brilliant. You are powerful. You are awesome queen. I was gonna call you junior queen, honey, but you're a full queen. <laughs> Thank you. That means a lot to me. Awesome queen. I'm so proud of you. So, thank you so much and come back again, okay? I will. I was as soon as I get this book out, we're gonna have to come and talk about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually inbox you about it. I would like for you to be okay. one of the people that sees it before it comes out, pieces of it at least. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I would love it. I would love it. Awesome. Right, awesome. So we'll talk to you soon. Okay, right. bye bye. That was Andrea um, Thompson, and I'm telling you guys, she is, whew, she's amazing, and I can't wait until, yeah, that was really good, right, uh, Garden Rose, that was wonderful. She is an amazing individual, and um, I look so forward to having her come back to talk about business, because that is where she absolutely lives. So make sure you check her out and all that she has to offer. Okay. Um, before we go, I want to remind you guys that you can um, watch this on YouTube. Uh, let's see, where's my link here? At bit.ly forward slash Tony Tube. Both T's are capital, T-O-N-I-T-U-B-E. You can watch me there. And of course, again, it will be part of our podcast at this link. Uh, at anchor.fm forward slash Tony dash Henderson dash mayors, um, which will also, if you don't want to go to that and you listen to your podcast on Breaker, Google Podcasts, um, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, or Spotify, you can get us under check in and chat. So make sure that you join us there. Well, I've got to go. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, you can visit me on the web at www.wisecourtship.com. I'm on social media just about everywhere. It's Wise Courtship or Tony Henderson Mayors. All you have to do is Google me. Just know that I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. This is Tony. Remember, darlings, I help you detect a lover worth living with. Bye. Mm -hmm.